South Africa is home to an array of beautiful beaches, wildlife and bustling cities, but like many other countries around the world, it also has a dark side. There are crimes and murders that take place in South Africa that most outsiders would never hear about. A study done in 2003 suggested that South Africa had risen to become the third largest producer of serial killers in the world, after the USA and England. Since 1950, there have been an estimated 160 serial killers in South Africa, with many starting their murder spree after 1990. Now that's a scary statistic. Today, let's delve into these chilling five unsolved mysteries from South Africa. Number 5. B1 Butcher During 2005 and 2007, at least five women were murdered in Namibia by an unknown serial killer nicknamed B1 Butcher. Disturbingly, body parts were discovered in June and July 2007 near the Comus region along the B1 road in the Greater Windhoek area between Rehoboth and Okenhunja. The body parts had been wrapped in garbage bags which authorities claimed to belong to two different women. Authorities also believed that the murders were eerily similar in MO to other bodies found just two years earlier in the same region. A total of five victims were discovered of both young and middle-aged women. Sadly, two bodies have never been identified, while the other three women were identified as Juanita Mabula, aged 21 years, murdered in 2005, Melanie Jantz, 22 years, whose death also occurred in 2005, and Sana Helena Garoas, aged 36 years, and killed in 2007. All three identified women were known to be fluent in Afrikaans, Damara, or both. Disturbingly, the victim's body parts were shown to have signs of either being frozen or refrigerated, suggesting they had most likely been placed in cold storage for some time. There have been a number of suspects over the years, including German citizen Heinz Niermann. Heinz was arrested in August 2007 after he was suspected of rape and strangulation. However, Heinz denied all allegations and was eventually acquitted for lack of evidence and released. Another suspect by the name of Hans Hosselman had served a life sentence for two murders before being released in 2004. He committed suicide in 2008 after being implicated in the killings. Over the years, another theory suggests that the B1 Butcher might not be one person but a range of copycats. Investigators even brought in three senior detectives from the Republic of South Africa to help solve the case. However, the case still remains unsolved to this day. Number 4. Andy Koza In May 2014, Andy Koza was driving along Ellsberg Road between Riga Park and Ramaphosa when he was gunned down. At the time of Koza's death, he was the chairperson of the Riga Park Taxi Association. The mysterious gunman, who was also in a car, reportedly started firing on Koza's car in the intersection of Ellsberg and Archie Roads. Koza attempted to dodge a hail of bullets by speeding away. However, the assailant pursued him and managed to corner him before ending his life. Authorities have had no luck finding this mysterious gunman. However, a man was arrested after a similar incident occurred in December 2015. Investigators are now trying to link the assailant to Koza's cold case. Number 3. The Boxburg Case On the 27th of October 1964, a teacher by the name of Robert Becker discovered a suitcase on the western shore of Boxburg Lake. Inside the suitcase were the gruesome remains of an unknown woman's torso, arms and hands, covered in plastic brown paper and a sheet. The postmortem revealed that she'd been in the water for 24 to 48 hours. Police quickly investigated missing women in the area. However, none of the missing women matched the description of the victim. The victim's fingerprints did not match any on record either, leaving police stumped as to who she was. After countless front page headlines and nationwide publicity, the identity of the victim still remained a mystery. 
Chillingly, months later, further remains of the victim were found, including a leeks and toothless head. Because the remains proved to be unrecognisable, forensic pathologists and artists spent the next 24 hours sketching a set of drawings of the victim's face and published their work on the 18th of December. After four years, the woman was identified by the victim's daughter, Catherine Crongy, as her mother, Catherine Burge. It would be years later when Catherine started to pursue her mother's case after having been told not to do so by her family and fiancé. The case was reopened and the victim's husband, Ronald Birch, was the police's primary suspect. After Catherine's murder, Birch had apparently resigned from his job and stated to his wife's employer that she had taken ill suddenly and would not be returning to work before collecting her salary and vanishing. On the 27th of November 1968, police eventually found Birch living with his mother. However, when the police entered his room, Birch had electrocuted himself and died. The prime suspect to Catherine Burge's murder was now deceased, and this bizarre case is yet to be solved. Number 2. Senzo Muyiwa On the 26th of October 2014, Senzo Muyiwa was staying with his girlfriend, actress and singer Kelly Kumalo, when he was murdered during a robbery in Vosluris. Senzo Muyiwa was a well-known South African footballer who was a goalkeeper for the Orlando Pirates in the Premier Soccer League and for the South African national team. Police released composite images of the robbery suspects and believed that three people were involved in the shooting. On the 31st of October, one suspect named Zonaku Mabata was arrested and appeared in court. However, he was released 12 days later due to lack of evidence. Due to Muyiwa's high profile, his death sparked public outrage over South Africa's high crime rates. Muyiwa's funeral was held at Moses Mabida Stadium with his family, friends and thousands of football fans attending to pay tribute to the football player. To this day, no one knows who robbed and murdered Senzo Muyiwa and the case sadly remains unsolved. Number 1. Unknown Victim in November 2016, a woman was walking along Commissioner Street, Delmore Gardens in Johannesburg when she stumbled upon the burnt body of an unidentified male. Authorities are still trying to establish who this person was and are baffled as to the circumstances of his death. The deceased male was believed to be in his 30s. Close to the victim, police discovered a wallet containing bank cards and photographs of two women. However, they still have no information on who this man was. Police are hoping to speak to the two women regarding the burnt body, which they hope will lead to identifying the man. They are hoping that the items found in the wallet will help identify the victim and eventually solve the case. This case is quite bizarre and with little to no information on who the victim was and why he was murdered. It is highly unlikely it will ever be solved.